All right, time to see what all my friends are doing. Bright Memory Infinite. This game, ladies and gentlemen, is a beautiful game. And get this, it's been made by one person. And this one person, I can say, understood the assignment. And what I mean by that is, uh, is, is that he understood the assignment. What else can I say? Thinking of a way to describe this game, I would basically say that it's Ghost of Tsushima meets Tomb Raider meets Call of Duty. You play as the main character, Shelia, whose job is to investigate some sort of phenomenon that appears in the sky, but as she's investigating the phenomenon, she gets teleported to a different world. Now the story isn't as well in depth as other AAA games out there, and the gameplay is nothing original, but you're gonna have to remember, this game is made by one person, and for one person to come out and make this game is very, very impressive. Think about it, it took a whole team to make eFootball. A whole team. Oh my god, bro. Oh, man, what the fuck? And it took one person to make this. Now you might make the argument, but Raekwon, this game is probably an old game. Look at it, it looks so bad. This game literally came out in 2021. And one thing that's my weakness when it comes to any type of medium, I'm talking games, movies, or whatever, is the a the Southeast Asian aesthetic. I love it. When you make a place look like South Korea or Japan or China even, it just gives me that vibe of, yes, it looks amazing. The Southeast Asian aesthetic, whenever when implemented right, comes off as a really, really well thought out environment. But granted, it's very evident in the game that the assets that were placed in some environments had to be reused as well as it having to have places that are very similar to each other. I'm just nitpicking at this point, but the game is a very beautiful looking game. I rate this game about an 8 out of 10. Just to think about one person making a game like this is an action. It's actually crazy to think about. <laughs> I think that we can all agree that most western developers are kind of taking their time with their projects and even when they take their time they always like to release an unfinished product. Now think about it, You that might be very controversial but think about it, Rockstar. Rockstar games, the people who made Grand Theft Auto Fights, people who made Red Dead Redemption, right? You think they would not miss, you think in a million years they would not miss. Have you seen the Grand Theft Auto trilogy re-release? Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the f <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. You couldn't pay me to play that game. I feel like I should have gotten a refund. And I didn't even buy the game! Now, I'm not trying to slag off Rockstar Game. We all know that Rockstar has a beautiful catalogue of games. They tend not to miss. But it's just an example. The, their latest game makes me worried. I'm not gonna lie. But at the end of the day, I'm talking about Bright Memory Infinite. The game is amazing. This Chad came out and worked on this game by himself. I mean, just look at the gameplay. Your eyes. Your eyes are feast on what is on the screen right now and honestly there should be more people like this person but then just imagine if there was a whole team of people like him who have access to more resources more assets more like composers and all that they would make an amazing game at the end of the day bright memory infinite is a game you should try if you have the chance to and if you do try it out honestly it's a really good game i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button and subscribe it really does help the channel it's really free Free. Yeah, it's free. So subscribe. No excuse. I hope you guys have an amazing day and yeah, peace.